Hey, this is Dan and Jacob from Fisher Jeep Adventures, and we got something special for you today. I got a friend uh, who does laser engraving, and he was nice enough to uh, do this fuel cap uh, for our Jeep JL with our logo on it. Um, he's from engravedanger.com. I'll put a uh, link below for his website and everything else. But he does all kind of Jeep parts and other things. And we're going to show you how to install this on our 2020 Jeep uh, JLU today. So my good friend Brian from Engrave Danger is uh, started up a business engraving things. He does cups, uh, in this case a fuel cap uh, for our uh, Jeep JLU. He does uh, hood hinges and a bunch of other Jeep things. Basically, if it can fit uh, in his engraver, he can engrave your logo, a message, anything you want to know. Uh, quality guy, quality product. And we'll show you how to install this cap today. If this is something you're interested in, please stick around for the video. All right, so the way the fuel cap system works on these Jeep JLs is they've got uh, four tabs on the back, which have to be accessed through the rear taillight. And then you have a gasket uh, for uh, the fuel fill. And depending on what size you have, it comes with two different gaskets that fit in that system. So let's take a look at what Jacob has on his Jeep right now. So right now he doesn't have a fuel door. He just has a normal fuel cap and the re retaining piece. So the first thing we're gonna do is gain access to the rear tail light. Now Jacob has a box in here, but there's access to the 10 millimeter bolt for the uh, tail light right back through here. And uh, you can get to it pretty easily. If there's nothing in the back, it's pretty simple to get to. So he'll take that off and we'll pull the tail light out. All right, it's just a plastic bolt and it comes out pretty easily. Just a few turns on the socket wrench and that's the bolt that comes out. Pretty simple. And then he'll pull the tail light off. So you wanna pull that out and then there's a harness um, plug right there and they recommend undoing the harness. So basically you just gotta pull that red tab, which is right here. Basically, you just got to lift up on the little tab on the inside and the plug slides right out just like that. So red tab and then on the inside of this, there is a little plastic tab that you just lift up with a little screwdriver and it will slide right out. All right, once you get the tail light out, you're looking for, there's some clips that are on the back. right there. There are four clips on there that you just got to depress in and then the inside comes out. So those are the same clips that you see right here that you just push down and this is what holds it to the body. All right, so we got those four clips. You can see them here where you just got to press them down and they just make a press fit against the, the body. And then there's this indexing pin, which is what centers everything. So we pulled off the uh, cap holder. We're gonna take the fuel cap off. And then basically there's a gasket, a rubber gasket, and you just have to basically pull it off, just like that, of the fuel neck. So the next step is to put the, uh, the gasket on the, on the inside, and it just has a little groove that goes in to seal against the piece. All right, and then this has those four tabs and then there's the indexing pin and basically this just gets slid over top of uh, the fuel neck and then pressed in place and you line up that index pin right in that slot and then you just push it until it clicks the only thing left is to put the uh, the gas cap retention piece in that hole. Screw the gas cap on, close the door, and there you go. All right, we're gonna put the tail light back in. It's just the reverse of what we did. So you put the retaining clip in, and then that just plugs right back in until you hear a click. 
and then you push the red tab in and that locks it in place. Reseat the light and then put the uh, bolt in the back and we'll be done. All right, so that was a quick install of the engraved cap from Engraved Danger. Again, uh, the link is in the description uh, below. That took us not even 10 minutes to do, super simple. And if you didn't have anything in the back, it'd be even easier than that. So great product from a buddy of mine named Brian. Check out his company below, give him a call, um, shoot him a message and see if you can get something engraved. This is Dan. And Jacob. From Fisher Deep Adventures. Thanks for watching. and. Uh, We'll see you in the next video.